Billions of miles traveled. The seven-year round trip with a quick pit stop at the asteroid Bennu saved some of the most heart-pounding moments until the very end. A spacecraft called OSIRIS-REx jettisoned a tiny capsule carrying a precious cargo that creased the Earth's atmosphere at 27,000 miles an hour. We have confirmed parachute deployment. Within minutes, the capsule hanging beneath the parachute gently landed at a military base in the Utah desert. Touchdown. I repeat, DDL. FRC has touched down. In a canister inside the capsule, a few ounces of pristine asteroid dirt and rock and dust picked up from Bennu's surface. Older scientists say than the Earth, dating back to the infancy of our solar system. The key objective for me, and one of the driving objectives of this program, is to try to understand, did carbon-rich asteroids like Bennu deliver the compounds that may have led to the origin of life on our planet, the origin of Earth as a habitable world? After teams checked the landing area for any potential hazardous materials, the capsule was rushed to a clean room at the base, the sterile environment necessary to keep Earth biology from contaminating the sample. There's little concern about the sample of dirt and rock and dust bringing alien bugs here. Probably material from this asteroid has been delivered to the Earth at some point in the past. It's also a very small body that's constantly exposed to ionizing radiation and no life forms that we, we know of would be able to survive that kind of environment. From Utah, the canister of asteroid stuff was flown to the Johnson Space Center outside of Houston. NASA says some 70% of the sample will be kept there to be analyzed, likely for decades to come. The rest will go to researchers and institutions around the world. So what happened to the OSIRIS-REx spacecraft after it dropped off the capsule? Well, it wasn't left to burn up in the atmosphere. Instead, it was, in essence, repurposed and given a new name and new mission. Rebranded as OSIRIS Apex, the spacecraft is now heading for a rendezvous with another asteroid near the end of the decade. Danny Delagistino was the lead imaging scientist for the OSIRIS Rex mission. Now she's the principal investigator for the Apex mission. Asteroid Apophis is a pretty infamous object because when it was discovered in 2004, there was an initial scare that it might impact the Earth in 2029. It's a very close approaching asteroid. About 1,000 feet wide, Apophis will come within 20,000 miles of Earth, so close that you will be able to see it with the naked eye. Because it will be getting so close, scientists believe it might get disturbed by the Earth's gravitational tug. Della Justina's team wants to observe with the OSIRIS Apex spacecraft what happens. The data can be used to build a baseline for other potentially hazardous near-Earth asteroids. Two, one, and liftoff of OSIRIS-REx. It was 2016 when the OSIRIS-REx mission launched from the Kennedy Space Center. It will complete its second mission, OSIRIS Apex, in 2029. By then, NASA may think up something else for the little spacecraft to do. For my radar, I'm John Zarella. Follow my radar on social media Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download my radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, Xbox, and Windows.